Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Eastley save and we are on our transfer screen because there's been a lot of transfers ready for the championship. But before we jump into things, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Eastley save and more lots of Wonder Kid, lots of experiments coming up in the new year. Um, but here we are. So there's been transfers and we're doing okay. A slight change in tactic as well, but I'll be able to talk you through all of that. And we've got our first game of the season today against Swansea. But um, the first thing to kind of make note of is at the end of last season, we, there were a few players we signed. Uh, Max Ridley was one of those coming in. Um, a youth player under 23s looked quite promising. Um, same with Sean Dawson, another promising player who's out on loan at Kettering at the moment. Uh, and John David as well, uh, another one who's coming from Eastleigh. Uh, otherwise, that's kind of where we're at. We knew that Whitehall and Carl Jenkinson uh, had left us. But let's take a look at the transfers for this season. So we knew that Patrick Zito was leaving at the end of the season. So he's currently at Linfield now. So he's gone. Um, you've got the likes of uh, Delmar Sparks, who's joined us um, from Chelsea. Oh, no, Liverpool, sorry. Uh, he's on loan currently at Halifax. Um, and Shea Charles is another one that we've signed. Uh, he's come from Man City, but he's out on loan at Carlisle United. Uh, then we've got the likes of Sam Bailey, Sean Dawson, who I mentioned. Osayan Roberts, um, who's one of our academy players. He's on loan at TNS. Uh, and Stan Mills is on loan at South Shields. But... Let's jump into the... Oh, no. Assigned Roberts is sold to TNS. Sorry. Uh, let's take a look at the exciting bit. Our players. So, um, Ayanda Ndlovu is our most recent signing. A centre-half, 18 years old, uh, from Aston Villa. Looks pretty promising. Again, just more players in the under-23s who are pretty decent. Uh, Lee Kavana, uh, another under-23s player that we brought in. 20 years old, um, from Brighton. Looks pretty decent. Six foot two, a big centre-half, classic sort of player. Um, we've brought Quadu Bar in on loan from Watford, um, who are, I believe are actually in our league. But we needed that kind of backup player for the attacking midfield striker role, as you'll see the change in formation soon. Um, 21 years old, good bit of pace, all that sort of thing, but a good backup nonetheless. We're playing 130k for him though, which is a lot. Um, our biggest transfer yet, uh, Gafaru Salifu. A goalkeeper who is actually in our under-23 setup from Antwerp, who's played a, quite a bit for six foot two. Uh, another player that I'm hoping will become very good, but it won't be this season that he's playing there. Um, Mohamed Sangere from Wraith, another player that we brought in more for that um, ball-winning midfield role in centre midfield. I think we just needed an extra player in there. He's got international experience as well, uh, and he's you know he's played for Wraith. Not a bad side to play with. He's more of a backup, like it says, fringe player. Um, Zach Brunt, another player uh, we brought in from Sunderland, uh, a centre midfielder or attacking midfielder. So a player that can play in the middle of the park, which is just what we want. 16 determination, some good passing technique, dribbling. But again, we needed just more midfielders. So we brought him in. Uh, Daniel Phillips is up next. Another ball winner midfielder that we brought in. This one's a little bit more quality um, with the marking, passing, tackling in there. Uh, some good work rate, some good aggression as well. And not bad first touch or long shots either, along with some good pace. So 23-year-old, plenty of caps for Trinidad and Tobago as well. So another player with a lot of experience internationally. We've spoken about Shia Charles. James Olienka, another central midfielder who, again, we've had to bring in players. Um, he's 23, Nigerian from Arsenal. Again, I think he's pretty He's decent. He's pretty versatile and he can even play right back if we really need him to. So can't complain there. Arthur Okonkwo uh, from Arsenal. He's a goalkeeper that has come in and is our kind of backup keeper. 22 years old. Uh, he's been capped for the under 18s for England. So, I mean, very, very good player. Six foot five, so a big guy uh, and looking pretty decent. Should develop okay. Um, Luca Gunter is on loan from Tottenham. He's our first choice goalkeeper, even though it says backup currently, because he is very, very solid. Um, certainly a player would be nice to keep hold of. Uh, valued at 9.6 to 12 million. A player that is by far and away our most valuable. Um, Pierre-Emmanuel Equa Alimbi, another player that has come into the side on a free. Uh, a centre-half, we needed another centre-half. He's a great backup to have. He's very physically 
good. Uh, 22 years old, so room for improvement where we definitely need to make sure there is some. Uh, but he's, he's looked okay in preseason, so can't really complain too much. Uh, and then finally, we've got... Oh, not quite Obar. Uh, where is he? Tudor, Menzel, Idowu. Again, another youth player that's come into the under-23s. Good bit of pace there. Centre midfielder can play a bit versatile as well. But he's looking to go out on loan. Anyway, but there you go. That is the transfers we've made. If we take a look at our preseason, you can see we've absolutely smashed it. Um, a 4-1 win against our under-23s. 2-0 and 11-0. 5-1, 11-0, uh, 4-1. Then we got to some tougher games. So we beat Cirque Bruges 3-1 which I was like, great, that's quite impressive. We then beat Chelsea 2-1, who's our um, our affiliate. They they played a pretty strong side as well, I have to say. It, was a, it wasn't a weak side. They weren't playing their youth players, that's for sure. As we'll take a look here, you can see they were playing Dembele, Musa Dembele, Havertz, Chiesa, Werner, Zayek, Jorginho, Daviv, Azpilicueta, Arizabalaga, and, and they brought on Ampadu. They brought on the likes of uh, McNeil, Kamara, since up Bell, Brozier, Colwell. There's a bunch of players in there that they brought on as well. And we beat them 2-1. And we did very, very well. We then played West Ham, where again, we could have won the game. And again, they played a, strength, a strong team. And then we took on Swansea in a 2-1 win, which again, pretty comfortable. And that's who we're also playing first game of the season, which is a bit weird. I think it's because we had a um, transfer to them and, and we got a a friendly as part of the deal so yeah but we're we're inviting them back um a week later and we're taking them on in the championship uh our first game in a much higher league so it'll be interesting to see how we get on i'm feeling pretty confident uh we've got obviously wimbledon in the carabao cup but that's kind of it a lot less um competitions to play in which is good carabao cup fa cup and skybet championship we've got fight a uh, bravely against relegation reach second round and reach the second round so all things that are absolutely doable um but yeah let's jump into the squad so this is what we're playing now a 4 one 2 one 2 I basically wanted to drop a player slightly deeper, have the anchor man there and push an advanced playmaker rather than so deep. And then a ball winning in the midfield as well, just to kind of tighten up a little bit in that midfield park. But otherwise, we're playing the same. We're getting our fullbacks nice and high up the pitch to get those deliveries in we want. Uh, but this is how we're going to line up to start with. Uh, Kaya Shaka is back into the first team squad. He's looked very good out on loan. He's developed as an attacking midfielder as well as a centre back and obviously defence midfield and centre midfield. So he can play anywhere in the middle, just not striker, which will be great for us. 20 years old. He's got room to improve as well. Um, he is seen as a national Fanarama National League player. And if he's seen as that, then there's going to be a few of our players that are seen as that. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll, we'll see if this really does um, perform how this performs. Uh, we've got Carl Hudlin, who's obviously been banging in the goals for us each and every season. Can he do it in the championship? I hope so. It would be very helpful if he could. Uh, and obviously Ben House as well, who again has been banging in the goals for us over the last few seasons. But let's jump into it. We've got Swansea today. It'll be a good test to start with. We were predicted to come smack bang last place. So I'm not I'm not expecting a lot, but we beat the odds last season uh, in getting promotion, let alone fighting our way out of releg a relegation battle. Um, so there's only one way to find out if we're going to do okay this season and stay up. Uh, and it is to play the game. So let's let's see how it goes. Five minutes in, we're looking pretty stable. Hopefully it stays like that. All right, we're coming forward. Simmons plays the ball through to Ben House. Cooper has taken him out. That's got to be a sending off. And it is. That is fantastic. They've had to make an early sub eight minutes in. Brandon Cooper's gone. It's a free kick. We would have. It would have been nice to have the goal, to be honest. But Awakwe could put this away. And he does. What a lovely free kick. First goal of the season, 10 minutes in. And we're 1-0 up against Swansea at the Silver Lake Stadium. We are flying. What a great start so far. May it continue. It's a lovely free kick. And they've remanded down now. So they're going to have to come at us if they want anything from the game initially. But I'm sure we can carry on fighting through. I think I, I'm feeling confident. So we've been very much dominating the game so far. They haven't had a shot on target. Obviously, it helps with them being a man down now. Uh, and we do come forward again. Kyle Hudlin looking for a switch. 
I mean, what a switch that is. Finds Rowe on the other side. Can he get a ball in? He does. Could he find Hudlin? It's just over the bar. That would have been one of the best one-twos I've ever seen on a football pitch. What a switch. And then a cross in. If he'd have put that away, oh, it would have been tasty. But it's a throw in on the left-hand side. Simmons plays it through to a whackway who's shot. Or it's a cross to the back post for Hudlin. And he gets a goal in the first game in the championship. He's one of those players, isn't he? Every challenge he is met with, he overcomes. I'm hoping that that is just the start of what he can do for us this season. I mean, it's a lovely football. Rowe plays it through to a whackway, whose little dink to the back post finds Hudlin. I mean, the fullback is not going to be able to beat him in the air. And he's a free header just to hit it home. And another throw in from that side. It's 2 0. We're half an hour into the game. I mean, could we get another one? House, header down to Hudlin. It is blocked from going in by the defender. But we are absolutely running rampant at the moment. And long may it continue because we've got a corner here. This could be another one. Smith, ball in. Finds O'Connor, not quite. Kabongo is able to head it clear to find Andon. But Magoma wins it back and puts us on the attack again. So we're at half time now. And... I mean, we're 2-0 up. We're, we're going very well. Magoma and Stefan O'Connor aren't looking fantastic in their form. But I think I will leave it as it is for now. I, I don't really want to make any changes where possible um, at, at this stage anyway. Only when the boys start to get a little jaded, may I? May. Jaded, may I? Um, might I then decide to move some players about and, and take players on and off. But it looks like the first real chance for Swansea to come forward here um, that we've seen anyway. McGrandall's receiving it from Timon. Mtoma with it wide. There's an overlap for, from Timon. Morel looking for a ball forward. But Magoma's header back to a whackway. And it's our turn to come forward now. Ben House does well to play it to Hudlin. Back to Ben House who gets the return ball. It's a lovely challenge but it falls to Kane Ramsey. He shoots and he's hit the outside of the post or the side netting. Uh, and it's early on in the second half and we've started as we finished the first half when we scored the goals and it's again coming forward row on the left hand side plays it down the wing to Ben House who has to cut back but does lay it back to Smith on the edge of the box takes a long range effort and it's wide of the target but again we are on top of the game as you'd expect being a man up but it's looking very very good. And it's Swansea's turn to come forward now. There's 20 minutes left still. So they, if they get a goal here, they've got every chance of getting back in the game. Magoma wins the header there from the court cross in. But it does look like it's going to come back in. Spalek with the ball on the right-hand side this time. Looking to get past Rowe. He finds Andon. And there it is. Florian Andon on his debut for Swansea. Getting a goal. Getting his first goal in the competition. 2-1 now. And... Could this? I'm, I'm hoping we can shore things up still. But they're going to come forward again to Mon this time. But Ramsey does well. Wins that off him. And looks to play it forward. Simmons into Smith. Out to Iwakwe. Who's got loads of time there. As he looks to come out wide with the ball. Is he going to look to play a ball in? Or he plays it back to Rowe. He's got loads of space. Can he find a cross? He looks back to Iwakwe, who slips it into Simmons. Back to Rowe, who's dinked it in. House there. What a lovely football. And that's Ben House's first goal of the season. It's good to see both strikers on the score sheet, causing problems for the Swansea side. We've got our two-goal lead again, which is great stuff. And on that, I think we will look to make a couple of changes. Adeboyejo will come off. And we'll also bring Kaya Shaka on for Matthew Smith at the anchor man role. Uh, sitting in there as things go we're looking very good um, it helps with them having a man down but and it's slightly irritating that we've conceded but it's not too bad a w if we can get a win starting off in the season fantastic a lovely win by Hudlin to nod it down to house but he can't quite hold on to it when looking for a pass but that won't trouble us too much as the highlight ends 15 minutes to go now we've made two substitutions but it is a corner for Swansea. Spalak with it in. Comes to the back post. It's off the bar from the header. Uh, I'm not quite sure who <laughs> headed that ball. A lovely challenge by Ben House. Chasing that ball down. Making sure they don't get straight back on the attack again. Playing it out for a throw-in. Ten minutes. We're, we're, we're working the clock down well. 
Uh, we looks like we've got another throw in on this left hand side. We it we've got a lot of joy down this side of the pitch. Kaya Shaka playing it into Dreyer, who's long range effort. Luke Dreyer finding the bottom right hand corner. A lovely curled finish and. Uh, the amount of players that have scored, different players that have scored to, for us today is great to see. I mean, if if players all over the park are scoring, teams are going to have problems pick, deciding who's more important to pick up. Luke Dreyer on the edge of the box, loads of time and space, fires it into the bottom right hand corner. That's 4-1 now, and we're sitting pretty in second. I'm not sure how long that'll last, but if we keep, if we can get form, get momentum, we know that the boys can play at the highest level. I mean, we've taken on Man City and done pretty well. Cause it, I mean, granted, it was a very young Man City side we played in the FA Cup. But, you know, can't can't say more than... Can't beat what's in front of you. I mean, we did beat them. So, I mean, it's kind of an invalid point. I don't know why I said it. But <laughs> they do... Swansea are coming forward still. Ten minutes. They've not given up just yet. Latibudier now round the corner to Vega, who gets a yard round row but it, he's holding him off quite well Magoma heads clear from that cross and then again we're going to look to come forward but the play back to Wakwe isn't great and he's lost the ball so the Swansea team are back on it again playing it out wide to Timon who's playing a complete win back role now uh, plays it into Spalek a keepers in no man's land I have no idea where he's gone and Andon has undone us once again scoring the goal and just an easy tap in um, it says it's an own goal, but I don't think it is. Oh, it's disallowed. Was it offside? Oh, Spalek was offside. So we got away with one there, really. Um, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We're not going to complain about that. Uh, how are we going to do this? Let's put Vincent Harper on at left back, and we'll leave that there. That's our third sub. Make sure Rowe is ready for next game, because he's been brilliant today. Um, certainly a player that... We're going to need to perform well. And the same with Harper. We, I think we've got two left backs who can do very well there. They're not rated the highest. They're not predicted to be a championship player or anything. But I think they're far better than what the game gives them credit for. Or at least we're getting the most out of them that we should do. Uh, a ball forward where Magoma's is just going to pick that up nice and easy. He plays it into Kane Ramsey. Again, looking back to Magoma. He's got loads of time on the ball to pick out a pass. Finds Ramsey, round the corner to Simmons, into Adeboyejo, who then finds Ramsey again, who's going to come down this right-hand side and look for a cross, which is what we do every day of the week. Looks in, it goes over Ben House's head, who will play it back to Harper, who again will look for a cross. Feel that box, boys, as this player is going to find a cross in. It comes to the back post, all the way through to the other side. Adeboyejo's turn to get a cross in. Falls to a whackway who's long. I mean, I thought he was going to volley it. He's headed it and it's gone in. It's his second goal of the game. I mean, it's quite the header to be able to get enough power on it to get to the goal and cause trouble for the keeper. I, I mean, I thought the keeper should have probably done a bit better there. But Adeboyejo's cross finds a whackway who s somehow manages to head it past the keeper. Seems to have gone through his hands, really. So... Uh, it's not great. It's not great. But it's great for a Wackway. It's going to boost his confidence. Two goals. Huddling, House, Andrea with the others. A 5-1 victory over Swansea. Um, an early sending off helped us a lot. But to get that many goals against the team really isn't too bad. And and it's a good positive start to the season, which is exactly what you want. Um, hopefully that carries on. We can use that momentum in the Carabao Cup and, of course, the rest of the league we've got Derby County up next um so it'll be interesting to see how they will get on this season um it looks like they may they lost their first game so hopefully we can beat them as well get a couple of games under our belts and see how we go but thank you very much for watching make sure you like subscribe all that's the good stuff um and yeah I'll see you in the next one let me know how you think we're going to do this season that first game was a bit of a dud one because, obviously, they had a player sent off. But let me know if you think the signs were any good because I'm still not sure and we'll have to see how it goes. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.